Hi, I'm Peter Katrumpas, Senior Lecturer from the Department of Health and Exercise Studies at NC State University. And, and I am Karine Maret from uh, Indiana University. I'm doing my uh, doctoral studies in Instrument System Technology. And I'm also uh, a CEO at uh, Critic, and I develop a peer online assessment tool working with 400 professors like Peter. And we're here today to talk about peer-to-peer -peer evaluation and how that works with QM uh, certified courses like mine at NC State. This gives you a little description of our poster that we had. I'm one of four faculty that uh, supports Kareen's research in peer-to-peer -peer evaluation with Critic. And uh, what I've used is uh, normal phone apps like this in order to incorporate learning, critical thinking, and active learning in my classes in fitness walking. Again, a certified course back in August 2021 that had allowed me to give students a chance to evaluate their participation and evaluation in class, but then also learn how to do the same with others in the class, which kind of extends and definitely extends into the research that Kareen will talk about right now that as her uh, work with Critic has continued on. So, and the first one I would explain is uh, from Alec Wiener from the University of Alberta. And then if you zoom in these um, a table you will see how peer assessment has been assigned so at the beginning uh, professor did not give any feedback it was zero feedback the class its size is from 1000 to 600 students and there was multiple choice question and the professor gave 160 feedback for the final exam and then after using critic the students gave feedback to each other at an amount of 5,800. And the professor gave 260 and 36 feedback, and then that's because the student dispute and flag a comment. And the total is 11,000. Why so much? It's because the professor can send seven best tuition to the whole student's classroom within a click. And now I would like to present the second uh, case study, which is from Dr. Ellen Poulins. And then Dr. Ellen Poulins, as you can see on the first graph, she used um, in-class classroom, and the average score is 82%. And then later, after COVID, it was fully online, and the average class is 80%. The whole drop was 1.2 and she was able to keep an excellent work from students before and after COVID. And how she did that, as you can see in this graph, they, before the point system was between 400 to 700, but she gave more scaffolding activity, which has given students more opportunity to learn by doing. And lastly, the last one that I would like to mention is um, the teach model from uh, Christian, Doctor University, and this this model is about teaching a professor to give quality feedback. So we are representing um, quality matter today for the conference, and then it's a pleasure to introduce you how we can help professor to give feedback for their students, how professor can receive feedback from quality matter to enhance their course and how can students can give feedback to each other to learn by doing. It's the way the future peer-to-peer -peer evaluation will help faculty to understand their students better and help facilitate their learning and their success according to their uh, goals and ambitions. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Enjoy. Have a great day. <laughs>